What's going on everybody and welcome back today to the channel. It's been a while since we've posted, but uh, I got a good video out here. Um, I had four weeks to get this video started. I got to uh, share something with y'all. I had a company send me these, these lights. They're tiki torches. They're solar panel. So they got the solar LED and they flicker. They actually look like a, a fire. Kind of crooked. The kids keep keep bumping them, but they sent me four of these to try out and uh, seemed to work pretty good. So I was supposed to get this video done on these a long time ago, but the um, issue is I haven't been out here at night at my parents' house and that's where they're at around the pool. So I haven't been out here at night to take a video of it, but they work. Um, I have been here in the evening and I just wasn't filming. So I didn't, didn't shoot a video on it. So I needed to tell you guys about it. I will put a link in the description to those and I will uh, pop up a picture right here of the name brand and everything that they are. And um, the description, like I said, will be down in the bottom. So if you guys are interested in any Tiki torches that are a solar panel, these, uh, this just electric, these are the way to go. Um, these things work great. So, all right, now we're on to the mission. The mission today, well, I say the mission today. I fixed my feeder. Um, the deer knocked over my feeder. I didn't knock the feeder over. They just got underneath it and they tore the whole thrower off of the bottom of it. And so I had another feeder that rusted out and it was a gravity feeder and I really wanted to go to the gravity style feeder. So we made one and out of the two, and I'll show you a picture of it here. I didn't video me actually doing it. Um, if anybody's got any questions on how I did it, then uh, I can video the feeder later. But yeah, so we did that. We took it down there already, put a couple bags of corn out. I'm gonna show you guys what all we've got done. Um, I've got a mixture up in my car of salt and <clears throat> Kool-Aid and sugar and rice no not rice bran what else in it salt sugar kool-aid jello anyway it's a good little mixture i've done a video on it um we're gonna go down here and dump it out now and i'll show you guys the the feeder i'll also show you guys um what we've been up to um i haven't been videoing any of it because i've been trying to get it done we're really close to deer season and i'm i'm running way behind but um we've got two tractors going i've been clearing stuff and then tilling stuff, but the tiller broke on me yesterday. So I gotta, I gotta fix it. So we're getting ready to take it apart after I get done taking this stuff down there. So let's go down there right now. We'll put this mixture out. I'll show you guys what all we've been doing and uh, just a little update. And I really needed to make a video on those Tiki torches and I was here and they're emailing me about it. So here we are, we're making a video on it. Well, let's get after it. All right, so I drove down here in the car because it's super hot. So we uh, got the AC blast and I've done been worked out today and it's it's super hot and we work out outside, so. But anyways, this is kind of what I've been up to. I'll turn the camera around here. I got a photo. So here, this is kind of an idea. So this is what all oh, of this look like all the way down i mean it was just thick 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 but we went in and cleared it out we tilled all this up we're gonna put a food plot right here the plan was uh to be throwing seed out today but there's not any any rain in the forecast so the birds will just eat it so i'm not too worried about it but i'm going to uh i gotta work tuesday wednesday thursday night i'll probably edit this video tonight while i'm at work i'm videoing with my phone um Friday we'll come in and we'll seed it but anyways my thought was I know deer really love thick stuff they love it thick um, but they don't like it like thick and briars where they can't get in and out of it like this was literally all briars there was nothing in here that was forageable it's, it was all briars yeah, I need to come through here and do some some um, hedge cutting and cut down some um, trees for bedding, but we might do that next year. But I came through with the tractor and we cleared out around all these trees 
and now we're gonna plant it. I'm gonna plant it in ryegrass because when the, the leaves fall, that ryegrass will come on up and this will be like a, a green field through here. So this is where I killed my big 10 point out last year. Um, I never did make a video on it. I didn't do a very good job videoing it. So we didn't get a video on that one. It was with my gun and everybody was hunting this deer. So when I seen him, I didn't want to take the opportunity to let him slip out the back door. So we got him. <laughs> We're going to take this mixture down here, put this mixture out. I'll show you guys what else I got tilled up and uh, kind of my ideas here. So. Let's go down here and give you an update on that. All right, so we're walking in here. I've had um, a doe and two little fawns. They've been hammering this little area. It's not really seen any big bucks um, this year. Um, I got another another spot that we have taken and put out like nine trail cameras. So we should definitely have something going on there. We'll see though. I'm gonna go this next weekend and we'll go pick those cameras up. Now I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna dump this mineral out. Um, we got the trail camera. I'll show you guys this feeder that I just got done finishing building from two, two feeders. All right. So this had two sections that were about this long. I took one off, put the feeder on. And then the legs on this feeder were so short I had to cut more legs so I could get it up off the ground a little bit higher, but. Ended up having to drill a couple holes, beat this thing into the side. It just, it didn't fit, but it does now. And then we had to take a grinder to this side and cut this one off and beat this one up and run it through and it'll work. Then we got the old bag feeder here with the rice bran they've been hammering and the cellucor out over there. Seems to be a pretty good spot for it because the sun doesn't hit it. But now, let's dump this stuff because I don't care if we kill this tree. Let's dump it right here on that. So this right here, I found it at Tractor Supply. It was like $9.99 for a 20 pound bag. And it basically is your Trophy Ridge crushed rock. So it's pretty cheap. But we put that stuff right here on this, that salt kills this tree, I don't care. We'll just cut it off and make it a, 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 a salt block lake here, mineral site. I should be able to get them on camera here still. But I plan on planting all of this, which most of it gets daylight. You can tell we had a big oak tree fell and I've cut it all up. And still part of it's still over there. We still gotta cut it up. I'm gonna plant all this in a brassica, like a forage leaf, something it has got the big leaves on it. And then probably in here where it's shaded, we'll do like a rye and winter wheat. When the leaves fall off, it'll all come up real good. And then we're gonna put a stand up in here and uh, probably another one over in here. And then Probably, we got one here, but we're gonna put another one probably up in here where it's got a little bit more cover. And uh, that way I can hunt this area with different winds. Sometimes the deer come from in there. Sometimes they come from in there. Most of the time they come through the field, but if you're hunting right here and the wind's blowing this way, they won't come through here. They'll circle around the backside and they'll come in through here. So if you had to stand up in here, they'll, they'll bust you. And then they come through here a lot. I mean, this is just a high intersection area. But anyways, now we're gonna go back, work on the tractor. That's all I got for you guys today. We're just doing a little update video here. Uh, getting ready for October 1st. Um, probably won't be hunting here for a while anyway, but we um, are trying to take inventory, I guess you'd say. And so far the inventory is low. We uh, got a lot of deer, but no big, mature deer that we want to harvest so this head yeah, this creek got hammered last year i killed um the 10 point with my bow um you guys seen that video and if you didn't go back watch that video um then i killed another 10 point which you guys haven't seen and i will put that at the end of this video um so stick around we'll at least get the recovery of my 10 point that i killed here last year if i can find the video i gotta find the video if not this is the end of the video but 
if you can look down in the bar and slide across the time lapse and you see there's a lot more video left then that means that i found the video so that's all i got for you guys so hope you all enjoyed the video that i find and if i don't find it i hope you guys stick around and hit the subscribe button all that stuff anyway but then, until next time we'll see you guys on the next video so i did find the video for uh the hunt that i had it's a lot of footage to go through to make i'm just gonna make a bit say a whole separate video out of it but what we're gonna do right now before we exit this little video i'm gonna mix up my little mixture i'm gonna show you guys what to do we're gonna do a, a big batch of this right here so um i'll show you all the ingredients for a killer salt lake that just the deer love it but we're gonna mix it up I'm gonna go ahead and make this easier. I'm gonna open everything up and then we'll get back to the video and I'll show you what we're doing. Man, it's hot out here. Can't wait, I'm going to change cameras out, camera cards out today. All right, I got iodized salt here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight of them. We're gonna pour them in. Actually, I'll pull four in. Just mix it in a five gallon bucket. Okay, now then, I brought a huge deal of tropical fruit punch. I'm gonna pour half of it in. The only reason I'm doing halves is because um, we are gonna mix it all up, so I kinda want it layered. I bought three of the big value cherry flavored jellos. We're gonna put two of these in. Fruit, cherry fruit punch. It's so hot. You gotta take it out of the bag. Can't throw just the bag in. All right, Hit that one. Now then, big old bag, or big box of this. They call for the little one, but I'm doing a pretty big mixture, so I got the big box. We're gonna dump about half of that in. Then, sugar. I have a bunch of sugar from when I was doing bees. Dump about half of this in. Now we're gonna finish putting the rest of this in here. As long as we got plenty of room to stir it, shake it. Four. this one more packet of jello i got this mixture from nb wild man i had to go back and find it a couple times i'll put the link in the description down below i put some outlet last time so if i got some pictures which i know i will i'll put them at the end of the video on this one i just put some of it out here not too long ago pick up all my trash just clean my garage out back here I'll go ahead and dump the rest of the sugar in there that's perfect now what i'm gonna do here i'll put the lid on here i'm just gonna roll this bucket around because it's a locking locking lid you can shake it do whatever you want somehow we got to get get it all mixed up All right, so that's it. Um, we'll mix it up some more, but we're gonna take it and we'll put this out. I got, I know I got pictures of deer on it right now, so I'll show you guys some of those right here at the end of the video. I put some out at my house. But that's the end of the video. I know I said I was gonna put the big buck hunt at the end of the video, but like I said, I uploaded a ton of video. I took a ton of video I put on. I put on the uh, computer that I took off my big uh, memory card, so. It's gonna take me a while to edit that video to try to put something to piece it together. It'll end up being a 15 minute video of me hunting this deer. So um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you on the next video. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that good stuff. Peace.